right, so it is Sunday. I don't know, 14th. Yeah, it's the 14th. Um, going up for a quick one. And oh, I don't know if you can read that. 9.5 degrees today. Started out this morning at negative 6. We've climbed to 9.5 right now. Um, this is going to be the coldest I've ever ridden in. Hope all goes well. But it's cold enough that my phone, <laughs> I pushed the bike out of the garage and I started it, let it warm up for a bit. And uh, when I got ready to go, I took the phone and I hooked it onto the, the mount there, the X mount. And I went to hook it up to my my Bluetooth thing. And uh, <laughs> the, the phone pretty much just said, no, I'm not doing uh, nothing for you. And shut off. And I restarted it. And it did the same exact thing. So I just said, screw it. No music. No, no nothing. Just going to ride, I guess. I definitely feel these tires are a lot different when they're really cold compared to when they're when it's decent out, you know, and when it's in the 40s and stuff. And we got some serious wind today. Up oh, down to five degrees. So wheat! And of course I can feel every little spot the wind is blowing through right now. I got some cold spots on me, but I think I'll be alright. I'm not going to go far. I'll probably just do a couple loops, stay close to the house and kind of just enjoy it. So a couple of years ago, I, the place that I rent, they had a, a birdhouse that was on the garage that was just, it finally just gave up. It, it had rotted away enough that it was falling, basing, basically falling off the garage at that point. So I figured, okay, I'm going to take it down. And I made a new one to put up there, which is all fine and dandy. But now I've, I've, I've been, uh, I believe I've been having di domestic, um, domestic disturbances and d domestic problems in the, the birdhouse because a couple of weeks ago I came home from work and on the bench underneath where the birdhouse is was a dead bird and it looks like it got beat up. So I cleaned that up and didn't think anything of it. Well, the other day I got home from work, I think it was Thursday, and I look up and I don't know if you ever had a birdhouse, but what, what happens is the birds kind of, the new tenants move in and they rip all the crap out that the previous one did. Well, not all of them do, but, uh, but some of the birds do. So there's something sticking out of the birdhouse, and I really didn't think anything of it. And then walking by it later, I looked up at it, and I realized it was the legs of another bird that is dead that's in the birdhouse, and something was trying to get it out of the birdhouse. So I now have a dead bird in the birdhouse, blocking the way in for any other birds. 
So I gotta get up there and pull it out. I just find it very odd. Pretty good. Oh, you're turning too. Would you looky there? We're going to get some more snow. I think tonight into tomorrow, or something like that. And then tomorrow, I guess we're supposed to get something. It's too early for me. I haven't really paid much attention to it. I'll pay more attention to it later. Um, but then on Tuesday, Supposedly we're supposed to be getting rain, we're supposed to be close to 50. So yeah, we're going from negative degrees to 50 degrees. So, that ought to be interesting. For all the crap and the frozen ground. And they're saying we might get a couple inches so, of rain. So that, that ought to be interesting with where the water's going to go. Purposely not. Well, not only because of it's so damn cold and the bike really. I don't think the bike's really into going, but I don't know what I'm talking about. But I know no one's looking for a motorcycle right now, so I got my fog lights on, and uh, hopefully that's enough. And me watching out for these dummies. Of course, my sunglasses in the helmet here are starting to fog. What the hell are you two doing? That was different. Or suspicious looking, maybe, is the word I'm looking for. The driver's dancing around in the car. And then all of a sudden the woman in the passenger seat sat up. I'm not saying anything was going on, but... You have to admit that that's, uh... <laughs> suspicious.
funny I'm running without the earplugs in my ears. It's seems so loud on the bike. The bike seems loud and everything. So I completely missed the uh, PBC there, Polar Bear Challenge, mostly due to the weather, just having so many warm days. I'll admit that it's partly my fault too, and some of the gear just didn't work. My microphone wasn't working. Hell, I don't even know if it's working right now, to be honest with you. Um, so I never got a ride in or anything. Eh, there's always next year, right? There's a couple good days I could have gone out and rode, ridden, 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 whatever, it's ridden, um, but due to laziness or I don't know. I didn't go out and I missed it and that would be all my fault, no one else's. In uh, Milford now. Coming up on uh, Gulf Beach. I'm on Gulf Street going to Gulf Beach. Um, in a couple more miles, we'll see the, the water there. I feel like I've filmed on this road numerous times, and I don't think I've ever put any of the, the video up. Actually surprised to see people walking today. That dude waved. It's funny how people you get the two different people when you ride in the, the winter. You get the people that are pissed off at you because you don't belong out the out. You good job. two people. You got the ones that are mad at you because you shouldn't be out in this. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's not the smartest thing in the world, but <sighs> anyway. And then you have the people that are like, wow, that's pretty cool. And they, they give you a wave or a thumbs up. I'm going to try as I'm riding I'm, I'm doing this in my head I'm going to try to get 20 miles out today in this which shouldn't be a big deal at all that's really nothing at all but
funny like in the, the winter time is when it's like this out and I don't want to go too far. I pretty much do the same stupid loop every time. And uh it's pretty dull. But it is I don't want to take too many back roads or, or anything like that because with the wind we've been getting a lot of drifts and yesterday when I was out in the truck there was actually snow across the roads and sections and stuff and I figured I'd stick to the the roads that are really busy so that that's kind of not too too bad. the one annoying thing about the, the temp gauge on this bike when it is cold after it gets under 30 I think 39 the temp gauge flashes at you to let you know it's close to freezing and it's just one of those not a big deal but it's obnoxious to me okay go 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 are in my old hood here. This is the neighborhood I grew up in. I used to ride this road pretty much every day on my bicycle. Go to my buddy's house up here. It's funny how the <clears throat> I've kind of come full circle with that because I used to ride my bicycle year round. I had a at one point I had seven bikes <laughs> but I would in spring they would do the spring pickup in Milford here and you would I would ride around and just grab all the uh, bikes people were throwing out and I'd make a couple good ones and uh, I had one for different things I had the really nice one that only saw nice days and then I had the one that was a beater the one I would ride to school Some that were just junkers that I would beat the hell out of, and but yeah, I used to ride year round. And then, of course, I didn't have the warm gear that I have now. Stopping why? So I could get rear-ended? What? Of course. And you're gonna run both of them? Oh, bike. That is the reason why you don't look down or off to the side when you're stopping. It's a good way to drop the bike, dummy. I think I just started riding yesterday. And I can't see anything because of these darn glasses. Ah, now I can. The darn sunglasses fog up. The helmet does great. Cause I got the double pane on the, the helmet so it doesn't fog up but and you can't ride without them at this point because of this the glare off the snow would have to be blind so I guess the choice is be blind or be blind
morning it was so cold I did the uh, boiling hot water where you throw it up into the sky and it kind of explodes. That was pretty cool. It uh, didn't exactly explode. Some of it turned to ice and stuff, but uh, most of it just turned into a huge ball of steam. Nevertheless, it was very cool. Stop, sir. Did you not see the stop sign? That road we just came down. I, uh, as a kid, had a mini bike, and my dad used to bring me over. That road used to be, um, like mafia blocked off for probably 10 years for some reason. They like built the road and never opened it. And it sat dormant like that for a good 10 years. I remember my father used to bring me over to it and let me ride the, the mini bike on it because it was a brand new paved road with absolutely nothing on it because nothing to get on it. It was pretty cool. That's really good there, dummy. Yeah, the other road has some uh, fields, like open, open, big open yards and stuff, where the wind's going to be coming whipping across and snow berms and stuff, so snow drifts. Uh, I'd rather not mess with that. There is the local cycle gear over there, which I won't be going to. Whoa! Yeah, I've got some good wind hitting me now. I'm holding at seven degrees pretty much the whole time. I went down to five for a few minutes, but. I think I'm going to end this because I'm sure nobody's watching it at this point anyway. Um, I'm pretty much beyond, well, I'm almost, yeah, I'm beyond midway of my ride. And uh, it's pretty much dull and boring stuff from this point on. Well, what's this? Let's see what this is and then we'll end it. Got an ambulance up here. Which is never 
we're good. Two police officers. Well, I hope all is well. But chances are having an ambulance at your house doesn't usually mean that all is well. That was, <coughs> oh, yeah. That was uh, pretty deep, huh? Anyway, I'm going to end it. And uh, I'll talk to you all later. And have a good one. Be safe.